Hi sweetians, welcome back to Sweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Sweetieville. I am Sweetie Pie and today we are back with something new I'm gonna try with you guys. If you like it, I'll continue. If not, great. I get a lot of questions on where I get my CC from, things like that. So if you want the CC I have, I'm gonna show you how to CC. So come mod with me. All right, so the first thing you need to do is understand your files. So like I have all this up. But let's see here, let me get back to, oh gosh, like you really need to see all my crap, but okay. So when you bring up your little file folder, or if you go to your computer, so I'll show you both ways. Once you go to your file folder, it's under your documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then you have a mods folder, or you can get to it by clicking your start and going to this PC, which is your computer, which I have on my tab menu here. And then you're gonna click on your documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and there's your mods. So if you do not have mods, this folder is going to be really empty. I have mods, so I've started to redo my whole mod folder because I decided I needed to redo it. So the first thing you need to do when you redo your mods folder is decide what type of CC you want to have. So everybody has a different preference. Some people like alpha CC, some people like Maxis match CC. Um, I myself am more of a Maxis match person. I do some things that are alpha because I think they're really cute. Um, like a lot of jewelry seems to be alpha ish more than maxis match same thing with the shoes um and i still use them but i use the ones that are more on the maxis match side that i can find um and not the real alfie i think it looks better with the game um here recently when i've been playing the not so berry challenge i've really been enjoying the bright colors of the game so you know you just have to pick and choose normally in this folder here you'll have just this resource civ CFG file. I created all these other files that you see here. Most people don't make those files. They just throw all their mods in here. Then when something breaks, they spend hours upon hours trying to fix it. Save yourself the headache now. If you're going to play with mods, organize your mod folder as you're downloading. So, on my computer, when I download a mod, I can just go here, and it'll go straight into my downloads, and these are things I haven't put in yet. So if I download anything from the noodles, they automatically go in here for me to put in. If um, I download anything else, it just come with files in here, and I organize it. So once I open my files and organize them, then I put them where they need to go. Like I just got a bunch of toddler clothes. So, you know, here's all my toddler clothes. When I have zip files, I'm, that's like a zip looked file. It's got like these four little boxes on it. I make a file folder. I just click new file. I exit name it the exact same thing. So the easiest way to do that is click on here, then right click on it, click rename on your keypad, I mean keypad, yeah, your keypad, because we're on a phone, <laughs> on your keyboard, hold down control and C. It'll copy that. Then all you gotta do is hit new folder and hit control and V and da da. And then I take this folder and I put it up in this folder and then I open it. That way it doesn't make a whole mess. And I'm not doing it right now because I already did it. Um, it doesn't make a whole mess in your downloads folder. It keeps everything organized. And pretty much what it is is the package file and then the picture of what I downloaded. These are shoes. So, yeah. Go away. So, pretty much, honestly, I could delete this 
in this file now and just have this and save but I don't I just keep them pictures kind of help sometimes so all the other ones I just throw in here um, I did get some new hairs so I throw them in the hair section like I said if I get anything that is a noodles color will go under my noodles so as you see I do get a lot of the noodles recolor like I said I'm really enjoying it so a lot of the things in the noodles or made by Miss Noodles or Tame, um, they automatically go in here. Then I have it split to where I have all of her kitchen counters in here. I have all of her hair collars in here, um, her hair recollars in here, um, her clarity eyes here, which are her new eyes she has up. Um, her rainbow walls so anything she has in a set I have it set it up so that way if something happens I just go pull the whole set out and I don't have to go oops oh my goodness there are five of her walls I gotta go find them in my thing I don't have to do that I just go into my noodles go to her walls I pull out all of this put it on my desktop and I'm good to go same things if something happens with any of her stuff that's how I do it um yeah yeah I know so I haven't gotten around to doing these here yet but some of them are just like hairs and this like this is her cherry tree recolor it has nothing else to go with it so it'll probably stay separate um so just make sure you know what type of filing system you want so I highly recommend when I start out a new folder, excuse me, as I play jump around in my chair again, I go zero, which is new test CC. So anything that I just recently downloaded, I will put in this here. And then I'll open my game. If my game crashes, I know it's something in here and I ain't got to go searching throughout my whole mods folder for it. It's right here. So then I go one hair, one hair accessories, two women clothes, three men's clothes, four kids clothes, five toddler clothes, six is for makeup, seven is jewelry, eight are shoes, nine are pets, ten are skin overlays, and eleven's random. Because like I have a few like little things in there. I got like my blob remover in there and toenail polish. Like where else does it go? Now, if you are a huge fan of say someone and you like download all their stuff because it's just that good like Brittany Harris's hair this has nothing in it but my old file had like hundreds of her hairs and stuff which I'll probably get right back because I really like her hairs um same thing for Sim Laugh Love I love all their stuff and so I have a huge file here where I have all of the Sim Laugh Love stuff. So if something comes up from this creator and she messages that something's messed up, I just go here, take it out, done. I can still play my game, never have to worry. So if you follow someone, make a folder for them. Um, the other thing I would recommend is MC Command Center. And those can't be inside folders. When you're doing the folders, remember, you can only go four folders deep. So, once you hit your mods, I can go, let's do noodles, because it's probably the closest one. So, this is one folder deep. This is two folder deep. I can go another three or four. That's it. So, I could make another board and one more board out of this um it's like this one here if i wanted to put you know chairs in one and tables in the other i could do that because it's only four folders deep so just remember that now however mc command center and iu cheats and some of the actual script mods things that change the way the game go cannot go any more deeper than this one folder so it has to go directly in your mods so i always make an mc command center folder and of course i have the mc woohoo as well and then i make a mods 
folder and I put it's updated and what the patch number of the game is. So all these mods have already been checked with the current patch number, which is 1.53. That's where we're at right now. And then I drop all my mods in here. And of course you can see I have more and more folders. So does this take me a long time to do? It takes me a minute. Yes, I'm not going to lie to you. But it's going to take you way more time once they do an update, which we know they do about once a month. They tweak little things here and there. And little things can hurt some things sometimes. Usually it's just the big stuff. Like when we got cats and dogs, they broke every table, every chair, every bed, every counter, you know. And searching for all that was just like, oh no, I'll just dump the whole folder and I'll start over. This is ridiculous. Because everybody had to fix all their stuff. When we had the new um, Python where it redid everything, that crashed a lot of stuff too. So I do recommend this. So if you're going to start with anything, I would say the 0 to 11 and then your special ones for your mods, your script woohoos, that, and your IU cheats, which I have right here. Those cannot go. MC Commander Center and IU Cheats cannot go more than one folder deep. So in the mods folder, they can be in a folder and that is it. If I would put them in here in this mods folder that it says everything's updated, they will not work. That's because you put them too far deep. So if something's not showing up, take it back one in the folders. But usually only the script mods have to do that. So... I have pulled up a few things and the next thing we're going to do is download my current most mods. So the few I have up here is the ones that I refuse to play my game without. I cannot live without these mods and I've really had to think about it and stuff because I'm like, oh, you know, I like all my mods. As you can see, I have a lot in my game and stuff so depending on what you want is what you can do but i'm telling you right now mc command center is wonderful if you are any type of summer and you want to control your sims in way more depth or if you're a storyteller um youtuber or um streamer or anything then this one is definitely great for you so when you go to debtor pools mcc you just click here on the downloads here you go he has a patron page so you can go there which is where I got all mine at but it quickly tells you what's it up to so all the old ones are down here and all the new ones are up here so of course their new ones is MC command center 6.4 and MC woohoo 6.4 so you do not have to get MC Woohoo if you don't want it. You can just literally have the command center part. Um, but I like to change a little things, especially if I have um, certain gameplay going on for whatever reason. Um, I usually don't showcase that on my channel because it's more of a family friendly channel. But in my own game time, I do use this. So for this, you just click. And I'm going to click open a new window because I don't want to mess up what my, I'm doing. And I got a lot open, so it might take me a minute now. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, where'd you go? Okay, fine. Here. There we go. And because I have too many file folders over, it goes, what do you want to do with it? I always click save as. And I make sure it's going in my downloads folder. And I click save. Done. It's already in there. So then if I want woohoo, and click woohoo. Same thing, save as, yup, I'm in the right folder, go. All right, so this is MC Command Center and that is how you download it. Really simple. A lot of people are scared about ad flight, things like that. Just make sure you have a good virus protection and every night after I download any CC, I run my Nortons while I go to sleep. And the next day, if there's an issue, I get up and deal with it. Um, the next one, well, I don't have these in any specific orders, but um, MC Command Center definitely is number one. Also, don't hesitate to sign up for their Discord. Yeah, it was on the other page. Yeah, down here on the bottom. Um, MCC support on Discord. You can click here 
and sign up if you have Discord. And what it will do is if you get any last exception reports, you can get on there and be like, hey, can someone tell me what's going on with my game? And they will literally just tell you. I've spent forever and ever trying to read those things and help my game. Nope, they are wonderful, they are nice, they are great people. I've never waited longer than 30 minutes and you know, I could spend hours upon hours fixing my game. And this will tell you straight up, this is what happened. I literally got a last exception report because I left when one of my people were at work. I'm like, oh, that flagged me a last exception? Okay, ignore. So nothing was wrong with the game. So it doesn't always mean just because you get a last exception, there's something wrong, but it's good to have them just to know. And they're very nice and very great. They will do all that for you. You don't have to be that techie. I'm not, I use them. They're wonderful. I stay on their Discord. Um, the next one I like is the IU Cheats extension. Once again, if you're a player that, one, likes to cheat, or two, very impatient, doesn't want to work their way up that ladder so much, or three, you're a storyteller. You're, you're trying to get that sim to the level you need to get them to so that you can accomplish what you need to accomplish. Then you need UI Cheats extension. This is a script mod. And it is on Mod The Sims. Um, all these links I will have down below of my video as well. So just make sure you are ready and looking for those if you're interested in any of these. Um, but I have a better place you can get this. A little simpler. Because another one you're going to want from this creator. And I cannot pronounce his name. To save my life or we pursue you. Oh, yeah, no clue. Is this mod here. I get asked all the time about the more columns in CAS. And I know these both say outdated. These say outdated because he is more active on Patreon now than he is on Mod The Sims. So if you follow him on Patreon, which is the next shape I'm gonna show you, here it is. He has 300 Patreons already and you don't have to be a patron to download all this stuff. Here's his more CAS columns, a three, four, and five flavor. Um, depending on what your computer can handle. I run the four and I can barely do that one. And then this one here is the IU cheats. It's updated for game 1.5, fixed all the issues, blah, 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 done. So we want this. Let's just say, you know, I got an itty bitty little laptop and I wanna just get one more column in. So I'm gonna download this one. You click here, save as, yep done then i'm gonna scroll down i'm gonna get oh, i'm gonna get iu cheats okay click here save as yep right folder done there you go you can go through here and see all the rest of his stuff he has really great stuff he's good um but he is more active on his patreon page than he is at mod the sims anymore so i would advise to go follow him on patreon for more updated versions now, the next things that I love, Kajiko eyelashes. I don't think I could live without these anymore because that, like, eyeliner that Sims thinks is eyelashes, that's for the birds. So, I get these. And I have every single one of these in my game. And it won't mess with anything. They're all good for different things. So, like, this one is in the makeup section. This one here is in the makeup section for guys. Um, this one is. Um, this one is. And where's... Oh, she's got them all labeled wrong anymore. Okay. So, once you download these, they will say um, experimental, blah, blah, blah. So... I'm just gonna go here bring this up 3d eyelashes all in 16 colors I mean could you not want anything more um uh, that's what it is it's skin detail I knew it was something um they've got the new fit for the mermaid now um all the way down so you're good to go and you just come all the way down and you're like, okay, what do I want? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, version two. Um, 
skin detailed, collars. Okay, so everything that you've seen on the other side, you could literally get from here. So, the version two, download. Save as, there it is. Oh, it's got seven more seconds to go. Then if you scroll down, you're gonna find the eyelash remover. You're like, oh yeah, gotta have that. What's the point of having the eyelashes if we ain't got the remover? Download that. Then you keep scrolling and she's got more styles here. So the natural colors, which you know, some of your blondes and everything like that do very well with these because they don't need that darkness on their eye. Um, or the guys look a lot better with the naturals. Um, so I get that. Then, oh, we got party colors too. These are the color eyelashes. So yeah, I want these, these are cool. Get on it and click it, save as. Yup, I'm in the right folder, go. All right, and then you just keep scrolling and scrolling and there you are. So these are almost all of them, right? So, whoa, there we go. I got all of these already. Oh, we didn't get the men's uncurled, sorry. So the men's uncurled version, download those. Yep, right folder. Scroll on down. And, and it shows you what the difference is, the uncurled and then the curled. And the guys kind of really do look a lot better with the uncurled and the natural, I've noticed with it, but yeah. Okay, so that's that one. Then we need these little kiddos. They gotta be taken care of, right? Is how cute is a toddler if you ain't got it? Now you see the kids and the toddlers are both here under this one thing. So I'm gonna click, yep, I want this one. And then I want my toddler version too. Yelp, thank you. And then scroll down and make sure, because she like keeps a lot of her stuff to there. And you're like, okay, I got them all. Then go back to your next page. And then the skin detail one. We didn't get skin details yet. So the skin details will be in the skin, skin detail area. And I know it says experimental. I've never had a problem with them. So I get them all. Download those for the young adults and I download these for the kids because like if you want them to have glasses and stuff sometimes you really need them somewhere else because it'll conflict with some accessories and things like that and then I hate these notifications on the bottom so I do that then oh uncurled version we already got that um skin details natural we need those Yep. And okay, we're good there. Back to we go. And I think we already got these, but we'll take a look. Nope, version two colored lashes. Yep, we're good here. Yep, that's all she's got here. Okay. Then these are for kids. We already got that. We already got that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not what I wanted to do. I hate this new mouse. It does all that for me. And then click older post. So she has one over here. And you're like, what is this one? I don't know what this one is. I don't ever get this one anyway. So I don't know what it is. And then you're like, okay, got all your eyelashes. That's how you get those. Then, what's this one? Oh, I know you guys have seen the new fan art maps. I am in love with them. I think they're so awesome, so great. So I do make sure I have them in all my games. So I do have the Sims 4 and fan arts. Um, Dershire, and I know I'm hacking that, I'm so sorry. Um, but all the maps are here. You got Willow Creek, Oasis, New Crest, Great Falls, Magnolia, Windeberg. San Machina, Forgotten Hollow, Brindleton Bay, Dessa Valley, Silverado, Strangerville, Dark Strangerville, Sulani, and then they're starting to do a seasonal thing. So if you want it to look a little bit different, 
you got season one, season two, season three for Willow Creek already. If you want to unlock more game icons for you to use in your game, you can get them right here. That's where I got all mine from. And um, he does make some CC too. But I mainly just use him for the maps and his icons. I'm not going to lie. Um, so they're real easy and simple to do. You're just going to click it. Click download. Click save as. Make sure it's in the right folder. Save. That's what it did. It popped up a new folder. Oasis Springs, download. New Crest, download. Granite Falls, and you just download the ones you have. Now, if you don't have all these, don't download them all because it's not going to give you that in your game. But it will override what the EA looks like into this and it is a little bit more accurate i like the look of it it's it's really cute they did an absolute awesome job with it and you couldn't ask for anything else and like literally this is just like smacking buttons i do this all day Celebrado. and anything i download i actually hit the heart button on it to help them out plus it tells me that when i come back i've already done that one i didn't get darker strangerville because i didn't care about it so yeah you can only have one map in your game at a time for that so i just like yeah whatever um i was good with it and then you know you're like cool now if you say you want the game icons you're just gonna come here it'll take you there it is in another language you can you know do your little thing here but you just click on the what you have say i'm getting base game click download there you go you got the base game so it's click and go click and go click and go all the way through they have all the packs everything everything is here for you with the little icons it's great so that is them the next thing that i have had in my game for absolute years and every time I dump my mods folder, I move it over <laughs> every single time. Uh, it never gets taken out because there's certain families that I do not like vampires. Don't, don't want to see them. Don't want to deal with them. They don't exist. And they bother you all the time. There's no way to turn it off. EA should make a turn off thing or for us to take down the intensity that we would see them or something something so i have this if you search on your thing um pp anti vampire doormat for the sims 4 it's gonna come up it's this top one by peaky pikachu if you click it it's gonna take you to this website which shows you her doormat and you're like oh well that's cool so then you're going to click this, which will take you to her site. And then you're going to click get. Sorry, the page you're looking for does not exist. Do not panic. She just doesn't support it anymore. It is still here. Click here to access the unsupported folder. So click here. And it's like literally the second thing on her map. This is everything that she has that she does not no longer support. So that may work. It may not. Like I said, I have had this in my game for a very long time, and it has not broken my game at all. So just click it, click download, you're good to go. That's all you got to do there. So that is it, and I will leave the link to um, Peaky Pikachu right here. And then just remember, you have to click here for the unsupported folder. So, um, the other thing that I refuse to live without are Noodle's Clarity Eyes. Now, I used to have the other eyes. Um, I even forget what their name was, but she doesn't support them anymore. And you can't even get them anymore because she, they don't, they're not up anymore. 
So if you go to try to get them, it'll say not there. And they're really not there. So I can't show you a workaround for that one. So I have recently went over to the Clarity Eyes because everybody's like, oh man, your eyes are so pretty. Where'd you get them? Well, well this is where I got them and you can't get them anymore. So sorry. Um, I kind of feel bad. So I thought I would try these out and these are literally gorgeous. I am in love with these. So I refuse to go without Miss Noodle's Clarity Eyes. Then she also made a mermaid one for them. And those are just stunning. I mean, look at the colors in the eye. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So I will not go without these. So you can go to her webpage and it'll be literally here. But if not, and say you're at home and you click Clarity Eyes here, it'll say not found. Don't worry. Click over here in the Sorbet's Remix. Then it's going to come up here. Click the palette. It's going to give you a flip book. Just so great. I stock Miss Noodles. I'm sorry. Her stuff is so beautiful. And her sims are just downright gorgeous. I wish I could make my berry sims look this cute. So this just shows you the difference between her new color palette, her old one, her elderberry palette, which is beautiful. There's what you're here for. The clarity eyes, right? Okay. So you can't download here. You click on all of this and you're not going to get nowhere. But if you keep going for a minute, give her a second. You can click right here and get her clarity eyes. And they will all come up for you. And then you can click here for the Hedochromia version. Hey, whoa, did I click too far? No. Yeah, Hedocarmia version, I can't pronounce that right here. Um, she did copy them based off of Avira's eyes, number 15. Right here, she just changed the coloring, some brightness and things, and this it's a great CC creator. I stock her too. I have almost all of her stuff. It's totally adorable. Not gonna lie. So if you want some adorable stuff, stock her. She's great um, as well. Um, she has retired and does no longer do this. So all of her stuff is unsupported and everything. Um, but she flat out says if you want to fix it yourself and reshare it that's fine she don't care um so you know noodles did with her permission so you can get the hedrocomia ones from here um you just click send file share it's gonna take you straight to it you're gonna download it let me smack that little heart because i like it and there you go now the rest of these i'm not gonna grab because i'm gonna grab them over here and this is the two-toned download. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I forgot to open a new window. Open in a new tab because, you know, you'll hurt yourself like that. And then I just go through and I just, like, smack them all and open in a new tab. Because if not, I don't want to lose where I am. Oh, it says I have to do it this way. think I'm doing the same eyes yeah <laughs> okay got the inner the shines those non-default ones pupilless I did it again. Four, five, six. Pupilless. Clarity. Okay, I'm on that one. And then that one. And then that one. And then that one. And that one. Okay. And everybody's like, do you really need all of them? Well, 
I like them to be default and I like sometimes to wear contacts and change them for my sims and so I mean it's really up to you if you really need them all but I get them all I'm weird like that I just get them all so you can get her eyebrows by doing that her skin tones from here if you click on any of these hairstyles it'll take you to where you can download them at um so yeah this is where I stalk her this little book it's so cute it has everything then it has about all the creators that helped her with all of this as well and some acknowledgments for you so that is this and I will give you the link to um, Mrs. Noodles um, Tumblr which is right here and this is usually the page it comes up to this is the home page yeah so you can see she has a lot of great stuff but I'll leave that for you and I'm gonna show you how to put all this in your game now so now we have all of that so we have made an absolute total mess so in preparation I made a mods folder Ta -da! okay so I put my download folder here and I have my mods folder open my mods the only thing you'll have on a new mods folder is your sig resource so new folder new folder new folder new folder new folder new folder you get the drift right all right so we downloaded the iu cheats extension so eyelashes all of these can go in one folder Ta -da! these are the maps do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. right here folder 2 the icons folder 3 the doormat 4 okay now we have all the eyes left it looks like yep all eyes 5 so then we're down to we have a little bit left. So what I'm going to do is go here, rename, control C, new folder, control V, put it in there. Rename, control C, new folder, control V, click here, put it in there rename control c new folder control v put her in there rename control c new folder control v put it in there all right then once you get them in here just click on them then left click extract all and it's going to extract right here boom done go back a folder this one we don't have to do the iu cheats so click it then right click it extract all right here then this one right click it oh you gotta go in it haha <laughs> right click it and extract all right here there you go so now and if you want to know how I'm doing this if you click the top one then you hold shift on your keyboard and click the bottom and it'll highlight all of them and then you can just drag them all over here to your folder and they're all gone so this is our download folder cleaned back out to the way I started so I'm gonna get rid of that and we're gonna just play with this folder so it's looking much more manageable already so these like I said can only be the one folder deep so they're done but we put stuff in here what do we put we put Kajiko eyelashes so 
Do, do, do. We'll rename this one. Control C. Go back. Can rename. Control V. Ta da. Then I just go in here, extract all, boom. Then once I'm done, I put that up in that folder. Next one. Extract all, done. Put it up here. Next one. Extract all, put it up here. Extract all, put it up here. Extract all. I know this is getting very repetitive to say this. I am so sorry. I kind of get having fun with it. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Can you tell I'm a CC addict? I'm just like, I'm having fun. Yeah, I've already downloaded these again, but you know, I'll do them with you because I thought of doing this for you guys after I already did start on my folder. I was like, why don't I just show you guys what I do and how I do it? And then if you guys have questions, you know where to go to watch me. And then I was like, oh, well, I'm not that far into it. I'm only like a day. As so everything you see me do in my mods folder, I did all that in one day. I'm just like, da -da 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 -da, and just chugged a light along. So now we got all the eyelashes out. So pretty much you go in here, you got your eyelashes, and they're all here. If something should corrupt, you still have your main file. I can go here and tell it to extract all again. You don't want to. Don't but they're not more than four folders deep. So this is folder one, click it. This is folder two, this is folder three. There you go. I could go one more folder if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. So that is how you do that one. So we have stuff in folder here. So these are the maps. So rename, control C, rename, Control V, and then I just go here and backspace it so it says maps by da 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 da. And then once again, I just rename Control C, new folder, Control V, put it in there. Rename. Control C, new folder, Control V, put her in there. And with these keyboard shortcuts, it really doesn't take much time at all. And you are literally just playing and plugging along. So it, it's very simple. Um, a lot of people get the rename very scared at messing with it if you screw up just take it out and start over the only thing you've ever done is waste time and just chuck it up to a training session for yourself and move on with it you know how many times i have spent hours upon hours learning cc and learning the game so i could deal with this a lot you know but at the end of the day if it's what you want it'll be great You'll be just fine. And if you keep it organized, like I'm telling you, if you screw up, you only got to redo the one section you screwed up on. Now, if you just go dump it all in there, <laughs> good luck to you. I don't want to hear you when everything goes out because you're probably going to cry. You're going to be like, oh, what broke? And I'm going to be like, have fun with that. I used to be there. Because then you have to do the cut all the CC you have in half and put it in. Rename, control C. Okay, rename. Okay, sorry, I was talking. I forgot to think. It, and it's just, it's really horrible. I will never go back to that way. I will take the time because as you see here, it's really not that much time. And most people are like, oh, you have to have um, an extractor for these. No, you don't. Don't listen to them. Whoopsie. 
You double click it, you go straight into it. But you need to extract it so the game can read it. If you put it in like this, okay, I get you, I get you. I'm having fun, thank you. There we go. If you put it in without extracted, the only thing you are gonna do is the game can't read it. whoop de doo but Then you gotta go in and extract them. You know, I put on a YouTuber that I haven't watched a video for, one of my friends, and I have it going, and then I sit here and do this. So I'm like, turning, watching them, doing this, I'm like, dun da da and before you know it, the video's done, you're done, and you're ready to go. It's really neat. Why do I keep trying to do it on that one? Then I'm like, where's my extract all? Duh. Get in the right folder. Alright, so all of them are extracted. Folder 3, we put what? Base game icons in here. So, rename, control C, go back, rename, control V. Base game icons, where the flip did you go? There you are. Extract all. I would put it in a separate folder, but it's the only one I downloaded. So, if you download more than those, do the folder technique I showed you. But I just did the base game icons for y'all for that one. And then go back to your mods folder. And then be like, okay, what did I put in this one? Oh, the doormats. Rename. Control C. Go back. Rename. Control V. Okay. Then we're going to go in. This one you can't extract you have to have a thing so you can do a zip all or whatever i use open it i don't even know if this is available i've had this free program for absolutely ever but any unzip folder will do so i try to get here tell it to do it it puts it in there i'm done bye bye so if they have the four little squares you will need a distract um, unzipper, whatever you want to call it. Um, da, 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 da. We'll rename that one. So I always look for the base name when I'm doing this. Go back, folder five, rename, control V. And then when I do this, I like to go back and capitalize. Noodles, clarity, eyes i don't even need the default because they're all in there and then that way when i look at it your eyes read it better when it's like that or you can put the underscores in between them all and stuff so then you go in here and look they're all already done you ain't got to do nothing then did we do anything else in this one nope i think that was it i'm just gonna click them all to make sure it's like I opened a lot of folders so we need nothing in these so we can get them all and delete them bye bye so this is our new mods folder and it has literally just the basics in it that's it then all you're gonna do is click your little file thing or go to the computer documents electronic arts the sims 4 you are gonna take your mods folder that's in the game out and then I have to open this one. This is the mods folder we just created. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in my game. So now it's in there. Oh, I got a last exception report today. I probably traveled with somebody at work again. I like to do that a lot. Then all you have to do, da da da, launch the game. So as soon as I get it launched, I'll bring you back. All right, so it is all loaded and everything and I do have my mods to show up that they come up at my thing and you can see if I scroll through here that they're all in here, plus a few of my extra clothings and stuff like that. 
You can tell it not to do this, but as you can see, they're all in here. Okay. Um, I do have a few extra things, so of course, you know, yippee yay. And then for me, so I know what I'm doing. Okay. I want to move this whole tab over here. Thank you. All right. So let's just start a new game real quick. So I can show you everything is here. No thanks. I just leave me be. All right. Take off this stuff, you crazy person. All right. So she has the noodle eyes. I can do whatever I would like with them because we downloaded all of them. So we have absolutely every bit of eyes. I have with the pupils, I have the crazy ones, I have everything. So let's say we want to do that. Um, if you go to your face detail here, we have our eyelashes. So they're all in. And you can see I have quite a many. I got the uncurl, we got the massive. We'll give her those. Um, um, I did put the four column in, not the three, so excuse me. And then like, da, 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 da. where is my ticker offer? Where is it? Okay, here's the inner tone ones. So you get the two tone eye collars and then the half tones. I like that one. Then you got the hydrocomia. Well, we gotta take that off for it. Um, and then you, you, know, you can pick and that one's not working. I don't care right now because I usually use the hat one. And there you go. Then let's see here. Do, 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 do. So that was the clarity eyes. The mermaid eyes are in there as well, but you know, you'd have to move her to mermaid to see all of that. MC Command Center, once we get in, I can show you that. The IU cheats, I can show you that once we get in. Um got the eyelashes. I'm showing you the cast columns are working. The fan art I can show you and then the mat. Okay, so you know, let's give this girl some hair real quick. Really, we have her bald. Why? When they're oops, I forgot a mesh. Love this hair. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, okay, girl. Let's just throw on clothes. We're, we're not here to play in cast, so. There we go. You, you style that. We're just going to randomize that. Let's randomize again. I don't like that. I definitely don't like that one. Nope. 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 Should have just stuck with what we had. Uh, Self-absorbed. What is that one? Fun loving. <laughs> and natural cook. Okay. Um, food, master chef, there you go. All right, let's go in game with her. Oh yeah, we gotta give her a name. Rochelle Razazamun, okay, whatever. Let's go. If you like how I've done this, I can show you all this on a different one as well. Yeah, we're, we're just going to pick that. Let's go. Let me in. And then I can go into each world and show you that these are the world map overrides. This is what they look like in. They're really beautiful. I mean, the attention to detail is great. I just love these. They're all very, very nice. Gorgeous and to 
yeah i mean you can't really say much about it. it's beautiful on every single one of them and it just changes it makes it a little bit more accurate um it does really great with it there's those yeah and i do have every pack so i'm sorry but to show you i have to like kind of smack all the buttons in the world and the salani's down here oh, okay just go yep unfurnished just put me on the lot all right so there's all mcc is in and it's running it will tell you every time here so now if I want to do anything with the MC Command Center, I just click on her and MC Command Center comes up and then I could modify. I can take her into cast. I can change things here. Um, I can add cheats. I can make her pregnant right now. Um, I can trait anatomy. I don't, know, don't even do those. And then this is some extra stuff. Half of these I don't even use. They do have, you know, I mean, change her age. I forget people. I can give her relationships. You know, you can do all sorts of things. I don't use half of it. I ain't gonna lie. But it is nice for the half I do use. And that's great. So that's how you do that. You just literally click on them. And right there it comes. And Woohoo is on there as well. Now, if we go into build by mode, I can show you the map. Let me in. Rogs. Decoration. Rogs. Content. CC. Thank you. Here's our little anti vampire mat. You got these two. And they come in a few different things that you can do. Some have the simlish words and some don't. I mean, they're really cute. I have to get on our actual lot. She ain't on it. So, you know, you can get ones like that, or you can get these, and they're adorable as well, at your front door for little welcome mats. I use this one a little bit more than I use these. I don't really use the words a lot. I use like that. Um, but I put them at the front door, and vampires won't come visit you. I don't know. It's like garlic. <laughs> they will not come. It's great. Love it. Um, now, every now and then they will, but most of the time they don't. I hardly ever have any issues at all. Um, and then let's see. That was that. Showed you the maps. Showed you that one. Okay, so I think that is it. I hope I've went over everything good enough um, to show you that putting CC in your game is literally that simple. And just take a few extra steps with it organize it I, I would if you're gonna do a lot specify the different one two three all the way down as to what you're doing and break it down because if you're gonna do a lot you're gonna need some room and you can go four folders deep so don't feel afraid to do so but I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial or tip video whatever you want to call it if you do, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know you want more of these, and I will continue with you. So until next time, all my Zweetians out there, have a Zweetylicious day. Bye!